Now, 78 students of the Brooks Dream Foundation have been trained in cosmetology, fashion, and garment making to equip them with skills for the job. Uh, certificates these graduates have acquired are European Standard Certificates, which open them up for jobs across the world. Matida Bugri now reports. Brooks Dreams Foundation, who started as a corporate social responsibility to support girls who are dropped out of school either because they could not fund their education or due to pregnancy, with time introduced other areas including vocational training to support these girls. Speaking on the sidelines of the graduation, the executive director of the Bruce Dreams Foundation, Maimuna Kalim, said the dream is to see these girls fit globally into any institution. And then over time, we set up the foundation so that we could be more structured. Then eventually, after years of doing the event management business, I decided to pull out. I was, you know, I had done it all. So I, I focus entirely on the foundation. And we started doing, we do a lot of programs. We, it's not only the skills training that we do. We do outreach programs, uh, back to school projects, health outreach, we outreach uh, training, ICT training for young people. But as we were growing, we wanted to do something more structured. So when we had, we know vocational training, we need to keep growing. So then we signed on to the Ghana uh, TVEC project, you know, and we started, so we added on to with the cosmetology and the garment and fashion training. So we are growing, you know, and then we always like to see people and give them a chance. That is why when we give their award, best attendance is very important. Somebody who is dedicated, they have the will to work, we give them a chance. You know, and then when they come here, we try to inculcate all the other aspects as in mentoring them, you know, building their self-confidence, advising, so that eventually when they leave here, you go and then somebody would say that if you were a product of groups, they know you've received a certain level of training. So, work in progress. We still have big dreams, you know. That's the dream, Bruce dreams. We have very big dreams. So, we are still ongoing. We are still, you know, step by step. She said they are hoping to be able to attract giant factories to the north because of the human resource they are creating. You know, with this that we are doing, we are great, we've created a social enterprise angle because we want a situation where we are going to be completely self-sufficient. So like those that we are training for the garment, the ultimate is eventually to lobby for a, a big factory to come here because the certificate that they get is European standard based, it's standardized with the European Union. The guest speaker, principal of the Tamale College of Education, Dr. Suleiman Idrisu, said the challenges the graduates have encountered should only help grow them in their career paths. Thanks appreciation to the trainers who have tirelessly dedicated their time, their expertise and passion to mold these graduates into the skilled professionals they have become today. <coughs> Your commitment to excellence has not only transformed the lives of these young individuals, but also contributed to a broader goal of narrowing the socio-economic divide in our nation. A special acknowledgement is due um, to Pami Mura. I think that's my grandmother's name, so I would want to acknowledge you as said. The visionary and dedicated executive director of Brooks Dreams Foundation Skills Training Center.